let's go on with the shading process here. Um, yeah, um, there are still some parts that need the, the first chrome shader that we created, so let's select those. Um, first of all, um, all those little rivets here should have the chrome shader. Um, and definitely, uh, definitely those boxes here, all those little boxes here in there have the chrome shader. I mean, you can, yeah, if you take a look at the images um, of the different types of that Daytona, um, yeah, you could go in and um, give, uh, yeah, different shaders to different objects. So there are different types of it. So sometimes those are not chrome, those are red or, uh, yeah, those are white. Um, but I will go uh, with a chrome shader for those little boxes, okay? Let's select those. Okay, let me check out if I have everything. So we could also give that little rivet here in the center, the chrome shader. So with all of those selected, before I deselect everything, uh, let me control, uh, just right click, sorry, assign existing material, go with the chrome shader. Um, and, um, yeah, let me think. I, uh, even the numbers um, that are there, I have the chrome shader uh, in my version. So I've got the, the layer here with the numbers and uh, let me select the objects from the layer and then right click, assign the existing material, chrome shader. Uh, let's hide the numbers. Uh, and we could also go in and say, um, the center pieces here of that wristband also have a chrome type shader so we take the same shader that we created for, for those so select this here it's looking good and let's select this one here as well and give it the chrome shader assign existing material chrome shader okay um there is um, an anisotropic shader here on those parts, but before we shade those, we have to lay out uh, some UVs. Um, that's what we're gonna, gonna do uh, later. Um, and we do the same here for the two rings. So the, um, the outer ring has uh, the same chrome shader on it, but uh, yeah, we uh, definitely need a texture here on it. Um, that's uh, what we're gonna create later on. And uh, the inner ring here has uh, some kind of a uh, chrome sh uh, type shader on it, but there is, um, so that's the way I do it. I put a bump map here on, on that part later on um, with that Rolex logo. Okay, so now I know this uh, logo here has the chrome shader, so we can put that uh, on there. And um, yeah, now there comes uh, the part where we have, um, yeah, to, to create some uh, shaders that are a little bit different. Um, <coughs> so here on this rubber boat, if you take a look uh, on some images uh, in the on the web, in the web, whatever, um, you s uh, you will see that uh, those uh, parts here, um, th this outer part is chrome type, and the inner part here is kind of like a white shader. Okay. So yeah, you can select faces and then um, give those um, different faces of one object uh, different uh, shaders. So let's open up the hypershade and let's create another MIA material to uh, take care about a white glossy shader. So with that selected, control A and then go to the presets and say glossy finish and replace that. So now let's dial up the, the color here to white and let's go to the, the reflection color here and dial it down a tiny bit somewhere about here. And let's dial down the uh, glossiness here to somewhere about here and what we could do is dial up the reflectivity. Yeah and I think I think I'm going with this one here, so we can tweak that later on. So let's call this um, white glossy shader. OK, 
okay and now we yeah let's uh, let me first hide uh, some stuff here um, I want that white shader here on on those rippled pieces so select those uh, right click and then assign existing material white glossy shader and then let's go in and let's let me hide everything here besides those uh, rubber bolts so that's the thing we want to take care about now so let's select all of the objects here and hit uh, one to go to low poly view and then um, yeah let's go in here and uh, take care about that little guy here uh, select one phase two four uh, three four control right click grow selection and now we um, give this guy uh, that uh, white glossy shader that we just created white glossy shader so all, only that uh, the faces here and then let's uh, go under here under edit and then you'll find the invert selection and then again with that selection inverted I go here to assign existing material chrome shader so that's uh, one piece uh, done here so like that so this out here is chrome and the inside is a white glossy yeah we want to do the same um, on all the other parts here so let's do this re uh, real quick so go here to face mode one two three four right click grow selection uh, right click assign a white glossy go here under edit let me um, if you click on that line here you can um, have a floating window um, say invert selection and right click a chrome, a chrome mater material and we do the same on this guy here uh, one two three four girl selection uh, right click white glossy invert selection right click chrome and so on and so forth so yeah, let, let me do this one more time. Grow selection, right click, assign the white glossy. Oh, didn't work. Assign the white glossy shader and then invert the selection, right click, assign the chrome shader. Okay, I'm, uh, we'll do this all the way around. So let me pause the video and I'll be back when I'm done with that. And here I am back um, putting those shaders on all the pieces here, as you can see. And now let's um, show up those pointers and all of those pointers um, um, especially the this is, um, cylinder here from that seconds pointer um, the minutes and the hour pointer so let me hit uh, three on the keyboard to smooth out smooth those out um, and then assign the chrome shader to it as well okay so um, maybe let me unsmooth those hit one so those um, are chrome um, almost everywhere but they have um, on the watch that I uh, uh, that I have images from have some uh, yeah some something that's white in here so we can take that white glossy shader for that as well so to do this let's um, first insert some edge loops here so take this edge here control right click edge ring utilities and split and let's set it to multi and let's dial that up the divisions here to something like something like 10 works fine here um, yeah and now let's check out uh, from a website where we can uh, where we have to put that white shader on okay so let me switch to um, an image here so if you take a look at that um, yeah it starts somewhere here ends here and on the hours pointer it's a little bit uh, more in front here so let's uh, try to eyeball that and um, yeah I think one thing that we can do now until I stop so let's insert some edge loop here on this guy as well control edge ring utilities and split and set it from relative to multi and switch it up to some something like like eight Okay, I'm going to pause this video and then we go on finish um, the shaders for the pointers here and see you in the next